Hi everyone, and welcome to week five of the Introduction to Causal Inference course. In this lecture, we'll be focusing on identification. Last week, we saw the most common example of identification, which is the backdoor criterion, which allows us to identify causal effects via the backdoor adjustment. But that's not the only way to identify causal effects. You don't have to satisfy the backdoor criterion to identify causal effects. As always, leave any comments or questions in the YouTube comments down below as they come up during the video. Here is the outline of this lecture. Before we get to more general identification, we're going to revisit randomized experiments and explain why they're so magical. Why randomized experiments make causal inference easy. Then we'll cover the front door adjustment, which is another easy graphical adjustment like the backdoor adjustment, but it's still not the only way to identify causal effects, so then we move to Perl's do calculus. This is like a calculus of identification. We'll see that whenever we can identify a causal effect, we'll be able to do it using the rules of do calculus. And the rules of do calculus operate on mathematical expressions. Given some causal quantity and a causal graph, the rules of do calculus don't immediately tell us whether or not that quantity is identifiable from just looking at the graph like the backdoor criterion does. So in the last part of the lecture, we'll see how we can know when some quantities are identifiable by just looking at the causal graph.